Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Letters to the Breach. Today we have a Willy Wonka style elevator in Sanctuary. Ball Arms is getting a little bit brave walking over there. Alright, uh, let's see exactly what's going on here. Good day, Mr. Breach. How are you doing today? I'm good. Yay! Up. Uh, um, well, I'm doing well. Steve's real excited about the elevator, apparently. I'm doing pretty well. How about you, Mr. Bighorn? Oh, you know, another Wednesday, another day of watching the insignificant lives of you mere mortals. Oh, Mr. Bighorn, why did you deliver mail to me? Because I'm your mailman, Mr. Breach, and we have a special duty to our customers, unlike couriers. That's true. Don't services like FedEx, USP, and Amazon have a quicker delivery rate than the Postal Service, though? The bald infant man known as Bezos will meet his end at my mercy. Yeah, I don't know what Amazon is, so... Is this a walkie-talkie? I'm at my house. Don't worry, you'll see what I have in store. You gotta stop telling me to not worry. Why is this here? Well, I'm glad you asked, Mr. Breach. You see, Mr. Breach, we've known each other for, what, two episodes now? And in that time, I think you and I built a special connection, wouldn't you say? I do know your name. Sure. Well, it's only fair for inviting me to be in your neighborhood. You get to see mine. So that's what we're going to do today, Mr. Breach. I'm going to take you up, 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 and away to the magical realm I call home. Jeff Bozos doesn't have that personal touch, now does he? I, I don't know who's... So just go ahead and hop into my magical elevator, and I'll sing us a song to pass the time. Ball arms, you don't have to... You knocked over the microphone, too. Oh, God. Hey. Uh. 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 Guy... Guys? Ah, oh, crap. Son of a... Come on, Mr. Breach. No, I'm not gonna sing. This is copyright. Oh, God. Okay, this is clearly... We're not gonna be able to play any of this. Oh, God, it's a karaoke version. Oh, God. Please... Please, please stop. I'll never sing again. I'm sorry. Just let me go home. Let me go home. Oh, this is... Prepare yourself. You know it's a must. Church late. Oh. Oh. Yes. Hey. Get to praying. Um. Hi. You. You get a new mask every time. Hey there. Welcome to a little slice of paradise, Mister Breach. Now y'all remember to wipe those shoes now, didn't you? No. Who are all these weirdos? Why, those who follow the path of the goat, Mr. Breach. Oh. Are we walking in the sky? Yes, but I'm afraid I don't have any diamonds for you, Mr. Breach. <laughs> laugh, worm. Well, I don't think that worm can laugh. Look, this is nice and all, but how about we get to them letters? Don't worry, Mr. Stop Breach. Stop telling me. Got them right here. Adieu, Mr. Breach. We at the Finely Manscaped Gentlemen's Club find your real hair absolutely marvelous. However do you keep such a finely well-trimmed fungi in the face? Sincerely, 8 dash sideways of the Finely Manscaped Gentlemen's Club. P.S. Oh. 
Oh my god, did they get attacked at the end there? Well, uh, I shave regularly. I trim it with a razor, and that and that's it. I got a razor and I trim it. They got different trim settings, and I, sometimes I trim it. I, I trim my beard, okay, Mr. Big Horner? Who's letter two from? To the breach. We of the redacted wish to know what features in Fallout New Vegas that are not in Fallout 4 that you miss. With all due respect, redacted. P.S. This message shall self destruct in. Don't worry, Mr. Breach. That's not bad. Oh, okay. Fallout New Vegas features that aren't in 4. Um, I guess changeable ammo? I'm sure there's a mod for it, but it's probably a pain in the butt. The dialogue system, I think a big reason there aren't as many Fallout 4 quest mods is just because the dialogue system is odd. And the local map, why in Fallout 4, you know what, this is my biggest complaint with Fallout 4, why is the local map in Pip-Boy in Fallout 4 the tiniest thing? Oh, what am I going to find in this closet? Look, here's in New Vegas. You go to local map, you see all this. You see where doors are. It's amazing. Oh, Fallout 4? Let's downgrade it. Let's make it a piece of garbage. Listen up here, maggot. You've been playing soldier with thousands of weapon mods over the past decade. But a true-blooded American needs to specialize. Out of all the weapon mods you've done, which were the three most memorable? Over and out. M.O. Steel Angel. P.S. Semper Fi. Oh, thanks, Steel Angel. My favorite three mods. Uh, I'm looking right now. See what weapons I have installed. Here we go. We got a whole bunch of them. So I really do not have a top three, but I always install the Watts Laser Gun by Deadpool, Haru, and Friends. Um, recently, the YK-42B Pulse Rifle mainly because it comes with a dinosaur helmet. For New Vegas, Nuke It From Orbit is a great weapon mod. It's not a weapon per se, but you can launch artillery strikes and also chumpkins. There's a chumpkins option too. Let's get some Trenosaurus loving in there with the M1903A3 Springfield. Trenosaurus classic, of course. Uh, Tricky Veins Crossbows of the Commonwealth is pretty cool. I feel it fits in with the game pretty well. Dazzerfong MK14 EBR, that's another good one. Kovadunga's Mauser Family, Deadpool's Service Rifle, and uh, yeah, I think that's more than three, but like I said, I don't really have favorites, so I just kinda go off whatever I install whenever I reinstall my game. Hope that, hope that helps. Letter number four. Mr. Beach, it is time you tell the truth. How did you create a Zero Dark 30 homage in under 48 hours? A new year before the movie came out. In fact, how did you show the death of Osama bin Laden only one day after the death of the real life Osama bin Laden? Sincerely, Jingles. P.S. But I mean, come on, seriously, how did you do it? I mean, it takes you at least like months to do one mont montage, you know? And it took you like, what, 48 hours? How, how did you. End of transmission. A Mr. Breach. Well, it only took 48 hours, I remember, I did time it, you know, because Osama Bin Laden had just been taken out, I said I gotta get on this, this hype train, uh, also it was the youngin days, that's when I first started my channel, I was full of pep and energy, I was excited to try new things, and now, all that energy has been sucked out of my soul. But yeah, that's why I took a lot quicker, and uh, Osama Bin Brahma just had to be taken out. Letter five. You fucking bastard. How dare you leave me to hang like this? I'd asked if you do the dead money of the hub and you said it would be fun. But here I am with over 40 petitions signed for you to do it and you can't be bothered to read it? Your shit ass brain. Fuck you. Screw you because I'm Hoovian. P.S. He was actually very polite. I just wanted to make that funnier. Oh, okay. Um, I did want to do the overhaul for Halloween this past year, but the other videos that I was doing for Halloween got in the way. And also, I think because New California came out, that was a big thing. I don't know when New California came out, but this coming year, October, I would 100% be up for doing the playthrough of that overhaul. 
Number six. Comrade Beach, it comes to my attention you do not do Misk Monday or Indie Sunday anymore. Sometimes. This wounds me, comrade. Dish for Danya, comrade. From Vincent Olaf Chekhov. P.S. <sighs> that was just the worst Russian accent I ever did. It's okay. It's okay, Bighorn. So Misk Monday and Indie Sunday used to be every week, but I kind of pulled it back because I was just kind of bored with playing random games every week. And I wanted to limit it to games that came out that I was excited about. So for instance, when the new Metro came out, posted a video of that. So yeah, I uh, Miss Monday and Indie Sunday used to be every week, but then I uh, toned it down because uh, Indie Sunday games, I wanted to, I guess, play more quality games or something. But then I just kind of got bored of it and stopped playing it. And Miss Monday, I will occasionally play a game uh, if it's new or if it's something that's been requested a lot and then I finally play it. Uh, for instance, the new Metro came out, so I played a little bit of that. Uh, when Far Cry came out, I posted some of those videos, but I usually now kind of just wait until something comes out that I like, record a little bit of that, and then post it. But maybe we'll head back to some indie land. Maybe I'll pepper in some indie fun videos sometime in the future. I'm sorry I'm hurting you, comrade. Number seven. Dear Breach, how do you feel about the lack of quests in 4? Also, you spent two years on a complex storyline for your companions, only to have them all anticlimactically appear in 4 with no fanfare? Yep. Would you consider bringing them back between games? Love, Guy Man Bot, with added anger by the modding goat. P.S. Play more jalopy. No. Um. <laughs> I originally was going to just keep everyone in Fallout 4. Um because the whole reason I made the montage was one, to get them to fall out for the gang. But then also, I also it was just, I was never gonna get them there if I didn't just make a montage. So unfortunately, Fall out 4's quest mod production, and I guess style is just so different from New Vegas, which I still blame on the dialogue system and I guess other stuff. But either way, uh, but either way, now I would say that the gang we could figure out a way to jump back and forth. And I did want to do a little video about the gang settling in into my new apartment. So maybe that'll be the next montage, unless a uh, holiday comes up first, which I guess would be Easter. But Easter or, or the gang coming home montage. I, I'm going to go for the gang coming home. Sorry, Easter Bunny. Number eight. Oh, I went outside. It was great. Love, Juicy Doubles. Juicy Doubles, you got lucky. Sometimes you go outside it is garbage. Juicy, 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 juicy Doubles, you keep living your life. I love you. Number nine. Query, what is Breach Unit Census on the topic of Fallout 4, New Vegas, and Transmission, Quiet Wolf, Fallout? Uh, Fallout 4, New Vegas. I'm excited. I'm looking forward to it. Probably gonna take a long time to complete it, but when that time comes, I'll be up for playing it. Don't take my word for that. It could be 12 years, and I really hope I'm not playing Fallout 4 in 12 years. <laughs> Number 10. Well, it's that time again. Time to milk that emotion. Dear Al, whenever I hit a rough patch in life, I always look towards your videos for joy. Thank you for all the smiles and all the wonderful laughter. Oh. You're the best, Mr. Fluffleluffelkins. Love me that smooth jazz. Mr. Fluffleluffelkins? Mr. Fluffleluffelkins, thank you so much for watching all these years. Hearts and hugs, and the Breach family loves you. We're a big old Breach family. Hearts and hugs, kisses and shrugs, rabbits and rugs. Mr. Fluffleluffelkins, hearts and hugs. Love you. So what now, Mr. Big Horner? Are you gonna... You're probably gonna sing, aren't you? Well, Mr. Breach, you got two options. Oh. You can either head on back down, or you can hear me sing another song. Mm. And I got a gift for you. You see, last week I was in the Mojave, and I found this amazing yard sale. And you won't believe what I got. A pristine ice cream machine. What? And it's all yours. So what will it be, Mr. Breach? A trip down or all the ice cream you can have? Do I, do I have to eat the ice cream here or can I take it home? 
So I'm going to say ice cream. Okay. This one's an oldie, but a goodie. Come on, Mr. Breach. All right. I'm just going to wait for my... Uh, Ice, ice cream. He's down in Louisiana, close to New Orleans, way back up in the woods among the evergreens. He stood a log cabin made of earth and wood. I want, I want that ice cream. He's a country boy named Johnny Big Good. We never ever learned to read or write so well, but he can play the guitar just like a ring in a bell. Oh, go, fireworks. Go. Oh, nice. Go, Johnny, go. Go, go Johnny, oh, go. Oh, yeah. Go, Johnny, go. Go. <sighs> Oh, Johnny, go, go. Oh, yeah, that's a big one. Johnny, big Damn. Ow, ow, ow. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> What's everyone doing? What's everyone <laughs> Oh, no. Oh, jeez. They're, they're, they've turned on me. I'm the only one getting that ice cream machine, you damn church hobos. <sighs> Can you help me, Big Horner? Oh, your congregation's gone wild. God. Um, okay, ev everyone's, everyone's dead. Can I get the machine now? Well, that was fun. Come on up and get your prize. <gasps> oh, I'm so excited. Oh, and I picked this lady's head up. I'll put it over here for you. Oh, yeah, there it is. No more back pain. Give me that ice cream. It's just a prank. See you in a few weeks. What? Oh, Big Horner. Damn you, Big Horner. <laughs> Oh, my ankles! Weapon. 